everyone. And today I have a, I mean, sorry, I mean, we have a special recipe for you. And it's actually perfect for this weather, okay? As you can see, we're both sweating so badly. So we are doing smoothies today, we have for you. And, but today is a little bit different, there's a catch, because we have special guests here. And he said he, he made the best smoothies, okay? So, and I have my version, he have his version. So we are both do our own version, and we have a showdown, okay? Let's, and who, let's see who have a better uh, smoothie. So you will be the judge, and we'll be the judge, and like everybody will be the judge, and let's see who make the better smoothie. Okay, let's start off with my version, okay? So my version, we'll, we, for both of us, we'll use the frozen, the tropical dragon fruit blend for the fruits. And it's, it's really good, I like the brand, and frozen fruit is the best to make smoothie because we don't need ice cube and it tastes better with the frozen fruit. And so first of all, you have a frozen fruit. We have some maple syrup. You can use any kind of syrup, but I just prefer maple syrup. And you also need some cream, so like milk, go and the thing. But I instead I will use the almond powder and add some water to it, so it tastes just like a in, replace the milk. And I also have just a little pinch of salt to enhance the taste. Okay, let's start making our smoothie now. Okay? So the first thing is you need 300 grams roughly about the fruit. So I'm just gonna put them in. Next thing is I put a little pinch of salt, okay? Just a little pinch so you can grab it with your hand, but since it's COVID, so <laughs> I use the spoon. Okay, so just a little bit of salt to enhance the taste. Now I just need three tablespoons of the almond powder. So let's go. Now in two tablespoons of the maple syrup. And this one might change, depends how bitter or how sweet your fruit is. So I just put two for now and then we can add more later, okay, if we need to. So two tablespoons of the maple syrup. And then finally we just need to add a little water. Okay. So same thing, the 250 grams of water. There we go. So we finished blending and just going to put them in the cup, pour them into a cup. Okay, so. And voila, that's our, that's my version of the smoothie. Now it's my turn. The first ingredient I use is milk. And now in the next one I put in the fruit. Then I use the ice cream. And that's it. First put in the fruits. Close the lid. 
and then press this smoothie blend button. Okay, now that it's blended, I'm gonna pour it into the cup. Okay, now come down to the testing part. Okay, let's start. Let's see who have the better smoothie. So, which one do you want to taste first? Mine. Okay, so you taste yours and I will taste yours too. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Take a big spoonful. Mmm. So it's my turn. Let's see. <laughs> hey, not bad. I like the ice cream flavor. Are you good now? Are, are you ready to taste mine now? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. Let's see. So you take a spoon. Spoon. And take mine. Mmm. So which one do you like more? <laughs> honest opinion. Okay, honest opinion. Honestly, I like mine more. I don't, I don't like the almonds. Huh? You don't like almonds? I don't, I don't like almonds. Oh, okay. But honestly, I, I do like the ice cream flavor, but honestly, because I still like my version better. So, who's going to win? So, so now it comes down to your, your fault, okay? You should write it down and on the comments below and see which one do you like more. And you can make yourself and tell us, okay? And that's it for the video, and I will see you in the next video.